Yo, what it do with y'all, bro? It's your boy Dom here today. And as you guys can see by the title and thumbnail, we got a very important video today, bro. This video is for y'all that want to become content creators, want to become streamers, but you just don't know how to pretty much start it up, you know what I'm saying? So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to stream and record videos from your console to your PC in a pretty easy way. If you guys watch my gaming setup video back on my gaming channel, I have a pretty budget and pretty simple gaming setup as you guys can see right here. Actually, I'll just show you guys right now. Got the Xbox right here. Elgato in here looks a little bit, Jesus, not even a little bit dusty, but majorly dusty. And then we got the monitor right here and we got the laptop. And then of course you got the accessories like the face cam and the microphone. Of course you got the ring light too right there. But yeah, this is just a real basic setup, bro. Like if you want to stream and stuff like that, Get you a little budget set up like this and just stream, bro. Like, just do it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, in this video, I will be showing you guys how to stream, how to record videos and stuff like that. So, let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, mind me for the ghetto setup. I did want to record this through my actual computer and then, like, edit and stuff like that. So, it could be more of, like, you know what I'm saying, on screen for you guys to see and not have to see it through my camera. But... I don't have two monitors and stuff like that to use for one to record and then one to actually scroll through the browser on. So once again, this will be another ghetto tutorial. So now if you guys are watching this, I'm pretty sure you guys did invest into Elgato because that's what you need or any other type of gaming uh, capture card that you need to capture your gaming and stuff to put it onto your PC and stuff like that. So the main important part is with the Elgato is connected in If you guys need some help, a pretty easy formula is literally, bro, you get an outport and an import on your Elgato. You want to connect the out port with the hdmi and then that same hdmi you're going to connect that to your monitor that you're playing the game with right and then for the second hdmi cord you want to connect one end of the cord into the end port on your elgato and then connect the other end into the hdmi port on your video game now while editing i did realize that i did not show you guys how to connect the elgato to the pc so the elgato comes with the usb type a two type c cord and all you need to do is plug the type c cord into the type c port that's on the elgato and then the other end of the cord you plug that into your type a port on your pc and then the elgato is connected a lot of people get confused on which to connect the hdmi cords to and i hope that clears it up so basically out goes to tv and then in goes to game that's just the formula that i go by so once you have that set up bro once you have that set up, you want to download whichever uh, Elgato app is set for you. I have the 4K capture card, so I have 4K capture utility, right? So I come over here to 4K capture. I'm sorry that this, I told you guys, this will be a ghetto video. So I capture mine through the 4K capture utility and I open up this app right here, right? I'm going to get some of that flash off so that you guys can see. And then we have the Elgato pop up on the screen. And that's how you know it's connected. It's capturing my voice right here. You can change the microphone. Uh, you go to settings. And then you get uh, recording, mic, stuff like that. You can change all of these settings. I got mine set up to how I want it. Mic right here and stuff like that. So I got mine set up and it's capturing my mic. Can take screenshots right here. Can press record right here. And then you also got your game volume and stuff like that right here. So now once your Elgato is set up and ready to go, the next step that you need to do is download a streaming software. Now, when it comes to streaming softwares, the two that I would recommend is either regular OBS or Streamlabs OBS. Me personally, I use Streamlabs OBS because it's just more of a simpler OBS and I haven't really even gotten to OBS. Once I do, I probably will make that shift, but for right now, I'm on Streamlabs and it's just basically a more simple form of it. And it's for beginners, you know what I'm saying? So I would recommend that you get Streamlabs if you're not familiar with OBS or anything like that. So once it's finally downloaded, you wanna click on the app and then you see a screen like this. I have all these different modes because of course I'm on Streamlabs, like I know how to use it. But for you guys, It'll first ask you to sign in, right? It's gonna take you to some screen like this maybe or something like that. It's gonna ask you to sign in and you have to connect either your YouTube account or your Twitch account or your Facebook account, whichever you stream off of. And then once you connect that, you'll see a screen somewhat like this. And then this screen will just be blank, like a black screen right here. God, my screen is dusty, bro. Oh my God. But you'll have a black screen right here and then you'll have like no sources in here. And then also you won't have any scenes. Of course I have scenes, like I said, I'm used to the app. So I've set all my stuff up, but you'll have no scenes, no sources, and also nothing in your mixer most likely except your desktop audio. So then when yours looks like this, you want to then go ahead and go buy your scenes and press. You can also download one of these. I got just a random one, but I don't even use it like that. But you want to go right here and then press add a new scene. Uh, mine is just going to be called new scene. Don't really need a name for it. So it's right there and then boom, sources. You wanna first add your gaming uh, capture, you know what I'm saying? You wanna add your Elgato, so go to video capture device, go to add source down here, right here. And then you see mine is already here, mine is face cam and Elgato. Those are my two video capture devices I already have plugged up. So 
with them plugged up, it might not pop up right here. But for you guys, it'll look something like this where you add it. You know what I'm saying? Add a new source instead, then go to add source. And of course, the face cam doesn't pop up. Maybe the Elgato pops up. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Of course, the Elgato doesn't pop up. But that's because, like I said, I already have mine connected. But once you guys do this and you select on your Elgato, it should pop up. And then you close. And then it'll look something like this. And you guys will see that you have your Elgato popped up. Let me uh, flicker my controller so my screen can light up once again. So, boom, you do that. And then your Elgato is on the screen, right? Now you have your Elgato on your screen. You want to add your face cam. So once you have this, you want to come to sources and then go to video capture device, add source, and then add a new source instead. And then uh, obviously the face cam was on there, so this might not pop up either, but yeah. HD Pro Webcam C920, that's the webcam that I have, as I showed you guys in my gaming setup video. And then you want to press the X, and then boom, it should be on here, and it'll look something like, wait a minute, let me press remove real quick. It'll look something like this, to where your face cam pops up on the screen, and then stuff like that, you can move it, all of this stuff. That's my tags, of course. We can get into that if you guys really want to, but that's like stuff that you don't really need. The main important things that you need is... Face cam right here, and then boom, the Elgato. That's all you guys need. And as you guys can see, we just hit the big 2.2K, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Too much gang in the builder, bro. We just hit 2K, but yeah. As you guys can see, we can move the face cam around, move it to wherever we want. If we want to play with it in the middle of the screen, we can surely can. But yeah, that's just how you do it. And then I'm going to put it back to where I had it. So then once you have all of that set up, of course, I can't forget about the most important stuff, though. I can't. I, I'm tweaking. You want to add... Your mic, so your mic will be somewhere around here. So you go to press uh, add a new source, go to audio input capture, add your mic, add source, and then your mic will pop up somewhere up here. But once again, my mics are already added, but for you, it'll look something like this to add a new source. And you just click which one you want, bro. Like I have all of these different mics. I don't know why, but yeah, I have one for my Elgato, one from my headphones, I believe, for my computer, and then one for my webcam, and then of course, my uh, USB mic that I have plugged up, my quadcast. So this is all the different mics that I have. And you just choose which one you want, connect it, boom. And then your mic will pop up somewhere right here. As you guys can see, audio input capture. But let me delete that because I already have my mic set up. As you guys can see, mic is in all caps down there. So remove that one. And yeah, but that's basically just all the necessary stuff that you need to stream. We got the gameplay. You got the uh, face cam. And then you got the mic. So everything is connected, right? So now, one big difference. Also, if I missed anything, please make sure you guys let me know. Let me know in the comment section if I missed anything. But when it comes to this point, you got the stream set up. So you can stream perfectly fine. One thing that may be different, bro, you do not have to record your gameplay like your streams. You know what I'm saying? If you want better quality of your gameplay videos, I record mine separately. And I will be showing you guys how to do that right here. So the first thing that I do is, is recording my gameplay videos. This is not my streams. When I'm recording my gameplay videos... I open my 4K Caps Utility, right? Because doing this, recording them separately, gives you your uh, videos in higher quality, pretty much. If you record them together, they kind of get a little fuzzy because it's two layers on top of each other. So having them split up will have them definitely a better quality. Like, look, at, just look at this. Look at this quality. You maybe can't see it on the camera, but the quality of the game on a 4K Capture is actually, oddly enough, better than my monitor, bro. Like, the Elgato capture card literally looks better than my monitor. You can't see it on camera, but trust me, bro. Like, I wouldn't even lie to you. So, yeah, as you guys can see, we bring up the Elgato, right? Now, this is what I do for my videos once again. This is only for my videos. Bring up the Elgato. We make the screen a little small. And then you want to go to your 4K. I mean, not your 4K, but you want to go to Streamlabs. Open up Streamlabs. And then also what I do for Streamlabs is I go to my full face cam, right? Now I have my full face cam. Of course, I will hide the sub cam because I wouldn't necessarily want that in the video. But if I did, I will keep it on there, right? So now I have them right next to each other. Look, now look at this. Boom. I got my gameplay. I got my face cam. If I wanted my green screen, do the same thing. Just uh, key it out once I'm editing and stuff like that. But I have my face cam right here. Gameplay right here, bro. Record face cam and also record gameplay at the same time. And you can do this because, boom, I'm recording gameplay right now. And then, boom, I'm recording face cam. It records at the same time, you know what I'm saying? You will have to sync up the audio and stuff in the video. But trust me, it doesn't really take that long of a process. I think it's worth it for the uh, like for the video quality purposes. Like, doing this makes your videos look that much better. And you can even edit them alone. So think about it. When you're editing a video, bro, say you want to separate your gameplay and your face cam. Because say you hit a green and you want the green to only be on the gameplay and not on the face cam. Of course, you can crop it out and stuff like that and make two new layers or whatever. 
but wouldn't you just rather have the higher quality already applied to the gameplay and also to the face cam because it's a full screen face cam and then be able to do it that way. I think that's the better way. So then another way that you can record them separately, like the gameplay and the uh, face cam separately, is you can come to face cam, go to a uh, video, or not face cam, come to Streamlabs and then go to settings, go to video right here and change your resolution to uh, custom. And then for the width, you wanna do 3840, 3840 right there. And then keep the height at 1080 and boom, as you guys can see, we have two screens, but make sure you do this. Please make sure you do this, bro, because I've did this a lot of times where I change the input to 3840 and then I change the output to keeping it at 1920 by 1080p or wait, hold on, 1920 by 1080p. And then I have like a squish video. So make sure that these are both on the same at all times. So boom. And then you have something like this to where, uh, let me bring up game with face cam. Then I'll give face cam, and uh, if it wants to pop over, yeah. So if my face cam was bigger or whatever, then I can put it right here and enlarge it, and then boom, I can record game and face cam at the same time. But once again, the quality is just a little bit lower on Streamlabs, so that's why I just do it separately on uh, Elgato. But yeah, this is the two ways to record them pretty much separately. But like, once again, bro, it's not just a bad thing to record them together. Like, just recording it like this, it's not really a bad thing. Like the quality still looks pretty good. So, you know what I'm saying? This is not just bad. I just prefer to have it as the highest quality possible. So that's why I do it that way. But and yeah, this is pretty much just a simple video because I was getting feedback back on my gaming channel about my gaming setup saying how to stream, how to connect the Elgato and stuff like that. So I wanted to drop this video so you guys can be crystal clear before 2K23 drops. I know not all of you play 2K, but any game in general, you know what I'm saying? I wanted you guys to be ready to stream or record videos, whatever like that. So, you know what I'm saying? If this video did help you out, make sure to smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel and also to turn on the post notice so you don't miss videos like this. I'll be dropping tutorials like this all on this channel, all on my lifestyle channel. I'll be dropping tutorials, how I got monetized, little stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? More stuff about my actual YouTube channel along with vlogs and stuff like that. But I feel like people do want to know how to stream, how to record videos, how did I get monetized, how did I, you know what I'm saying? So I'll be dropping a lot of videos like that on here. Make sure to subscribe and I appreciate y'all for tuning in and I'll catch y'all in the next one.